In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replicate and synchronize data from MongoDB to Postgres in just a couple of minutes. Let's get into this right now. Now, before we even begin, there are a couple of prerequisites that you do need to know. Number one, you need to have a Clever Cloud account. You can create a free account with a free trial on their website. I'll put the link in the description below. On top of that, you'll also need Mongosh and Postgres CLI installed on your machine. And last but not least, you need to have either an Airbyte Cloud account or Airbyte open source software installed on your machine. And if you have not done that yet, you can check them out in the description below or check out our getting started documentation on how to install Airbyte on your machine and get going. Now let's go ahead and move forward with this tutorial. Okay, so the first thing that we will need to do is actually go to clevercloud.com and create an account, assuming that you've already done that. What we need to do next is that we need to go to this tab down here on the create button, click on that and click add on. Once we go there, of course, what we're going to select is MongoDB because that's what we'll be doing is that we're going to head and replicate and synchronize data from MongoDB again to Postgres. So select MongoDB. Now you're gonna see multiple different plan names on here. For this particular exercise, we'll be using dev. It's the very first one that makes it a little larger for y'all, for you to see, but it will be dev, this one, first one, anyway. So we'll go ahead and click that, go to the bottom. Then we will click next. And obviously there's only one location for me to choose, which will be Paris, France, right? Now, what we need to do next is that we need to enter a name for this and we'll be using the name Airbyte Mongo. So let's go ahead and type that in, Airbyte Mongo and hit next, very simple. And now what we have next and what you will see here is that you should now have a new MongoDB database created with all the details to connect to it. Right now we see all of our database credentials in here. That's okay if you see all my credentials because this will be deleted and no longer exists by the time this video is out and live. Right now, what we need to do next is number one, is that we're gonna go ahead and copy this under the Mongo CLI section, copy this whole thing, except the word Mongo. Why? Because in our terminal, rather than typing the word Mongo, we're gonna replace it with the word Mongosh, right? So assuming that that's already installed in the machine, good to go. So I'm gonna open my terminal. I'm gonna type in Mongosh space and paste all of this, hit enter. And now what I need to do next is enter my password. My password is in here password in here hit enter should be good to go okay boom so now you should be able to connect to the primary replica of the mongodb replica set now in the airbyte connection to mongodb what we'll need to do is make use of the url for the primary replica now this can be achieved by running this command in the terminal which is rs.is master primary hit enter all right, so now what we see next is that this gave a response with a string in the format of our host name right here. I'm gonna highlight this. You can't see what I'm pointing out. In our host name, in our port right here, which is perfect and exactly what we need. Now, before we even continue moving forward, what we need to do next for this demo is that we need to download and then import a sample restaurant collection using the restaurant JSON file that I have using the Mongo import DB tool command. Now, how do we do that? First of all, number one, I'm gonna go back to this tab. You need to make sure that you actually have this copied, this information copied right here. And in the new tab, we're gonna type in Mongo import host equals, and we're gonna literally paste in that URL. Next, well, actually, we're gonna delete this. We don't need that in there, All right? We're gonna type in next port. And what is the port number? 27017, I believe, right? And then our username will be, what's our username? Literally right here, this is our username, paste. Um, and after that will be our password, boom, paste. And of course, our database, my database name is here. Boom, paste, and database equals. And then a collection, what will be we'll let's call it the restaurant JSON. And let's see if this works. Boom, perfect, success. Now, if you're wondering how this is actually working, I didn't show you this earlier, but I am in my Airbyte folder that I have cloned from our Airbyte repo. And in this Airbyte folder, right, for example, Airbyte folder that I cloned from my repo and I have the restaurant.json file in here. Let's just look what's in here really quick. Boom, there you go. So this is literally just a huge JSON file. That's pretty much it, okay? Anyway, so we see that I was able to import that file and send it to our MongoDB database. Now, what we need to do next is configure a MongoDB source 
using Airbyte open source software or using Airbyte Cloud, totally up to you on your end. So now what I'm gonna do next, is I'm gonna open Airbyte OSS on here. As you can see, it's running locally on my machine. Let's make it a little larger, right? I'm on localhost 8000 or you'll be on Airbyte Cloud. And pretty much what we need to do is we need to click on this connections tab and create your first connection, create a connection, etc. Click on that. Now, because we're gonna create a source and our original source will be MongoDB, why we just imported that restaurant JSON file into MongoDB, and that will be our source. And our end goal again is to replicate and synchronize data from MongoDB to our Postgres database. Okay, so what we're gonna do is now we're gonna go down to our source type at the bottom, and we're going to look for MongoDB. Okay, so now we're here, we need to fill up our credentials, but what are our credentials? Our credentials are all here. Now, I think what's good to note is that, is that here on the host name, when you look at your login credentials here on your host, it's not this entire thing. Your host will actually be right after this comma right here, which will be n2-c2 all the way up to cloud.com. Now, if you really want to know exactly what you're using for your host, going back to the terminal on this tab, right back in this tab, you will find your host right here. So literally paste it in there, take out the port. We don't need that at the end. Boom, there you go, n2-c2 and then whatever your host is, right? And then your database name, username, password. Now, let me fill this up really quick. Okay, now on this part on database name, instead of admin under authentication source, we're gonna put our database name instead down there. And now we have the ability to test and make sure that we can actually connect to our source. Let's do that. Boom, all connection tests have passed. Perfect, so now that the tests pass, let's set up the source and all connection tests passed again. Now, what we need to do though, if you have a source, you don't just want your data to remain at the source, you wanna move it to a destination. Now, what is our destination? Again, we're moving our data from MongoDB to Postgres. So what is our destination? At the bottom down here, let me just make this a little larger for y'all. We're gonna type in Postgres. There you go. Okay, perfect. So now we need to set up our Postgres database, have a destination for us to input this in. Now, how do we do that? We go back to Clever Cloud. We go back to create here on the left side button. And we want to add another add-on. What is our add-on? It is Postgres. Where is Postgres on here? Boom. And we click select. There you go. We'll be using dev as usual. Click next, All right? Now, what we'll be naming this Postgres database, you can name it whatever you want, and I'm going to name it Airbyte Postgres. There you go, that's spelled right, Airbyte Postgres, and choose whatever selection. I'm using Paris, so. And now, we have our Postgres credentials, and it should pop up any second now. There you go, <laughs> simple. Okay, so now what we see is that we created our Postgres database using clevercloud.com. Now, all we need to simply do is and put these credentials into here. But before we continue, let's make sure that we can actually connect to our Postgres database through a terminal. And how do you do that? You simply copy our connection URI in here. And so let's go ahead and let's run Postgres. Let's get started. Boom, and we pretty much run this command. PSQL, paste that uh, connection URI, and we're good to go. And we'll look at this later on. Now let's input these credentials into here. Now for our destination name, what we will be using, you could name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna call it um, Clever Cloud. So we'll call it CC dash Postgres SQL. Our host is all here. Host, port number is the same. DB name, schema is public, user, password, boom. Let's see, and our SSL mode, let's use prefer. And this should be good, let's test this and hopefully it, everything works and should be good to go. Let's see, there you go. All connection tests have passed. I did make a mistake though. Earlier in the user, I accidentally copied database name into here, so it failed, which is a good thing. When you do a test, it failed. And so you want to make sure you input the right credentials. I put the wrong credentials. So I did a test again, and almost instantly, all connections have passed. So now what we want to do is we want to set up the destination, click that button. Be pretty quick, there you go. That was actually faster than I thought it would be. All right, now this is the important part. Now, what we need to do now is set up an Airbyte connection between MongoDB and Postgres to make sure everything works smoothly now as for replication frequency we can keep that at every 24 hours under streams we will go ahead and select mirror source structure and everything should be good to go we'll keep this as is and of course you want to normalize the tabular data have it normalized transformed for us and let's go ahead and let's click setup connection and sync now 
Now, what do we see? We see that the sync is succeeded and that we're able to see that 2,548 records have been moved to our Postgres database. We want to now check by logging into our Postgres database and checking that the data is actually there. And let's go ahead and let's do that. So we do that by going back to our clevercloud.com. And what we do is we go to our Airbyte Postgres database. And what we will see here is our connection URI, right? Now, the way we connect to that, we copy and paste this whole thing. But actually, rather than Postgres SQL, it's just Postgres, right? I deleted that, right? We go back to our terminal. And all I'm gonna do is type in Postgres SQL and paste this whole thing, enter. There you go, we are connected and let's see what's here. Now there's something missing. Why can't we see our restaurant collection JSON file in here that we originally input into an Airbyte MongoDB database is because now in the terminal, what we need to do next that we need to set up the search path according to the DB name that we wrote in Airbyte Mongo database. It's this database in Airbyte MongoDB. Go back to our terminal. And the way we do this and set our path, our search path is set search path equals boom right that's the correct name single quote colon boom and now we type slash d and there you go now okay so it omitted <laughs> it doesn't include a c in collection restaurant so now what do we see we see that the data that we had in our mongodb database is now in our postgres database by using airbyte as simple as that if you like this tutorial or if you had any questions about it please let us know in the comment section below and if there's any other tutorials you'd like us to create please let us know as well anyway thank you for watching i'll see y'all in the next video